Hey everybody, welcome back to my Minecraft playthrough. My name is Tommy, and we are building Tommy Town Amusement Parks. Amusement Park. Uh, this episode is just going to be a quick walkthrough. I did some work off camera, and I'm ready to go into the park where you actually like, do rides and different kind of fun attractions. And so I just want to do a quick rundown of everything I've done so far before I head back, or before I start building in, into the park. Um, so here is our entrance. Uh, we have Tommy Town Amusements as our sign with my little logo head there. And then we got my castle. And down here we have the TT for Tommy Town. And gonna quick float over, just kind of get the view of it. And I have a little um, walkway on this side, which will eventually tie to something up that way. Is that a llama up there already? No, rabbit. Okay, rabbit. Um, but yeah, so that'll be tied up over to something over there, which carries into that one up there. Uh, but just a nice little graphic wall as you walk in underneath the big giant head. <laughs> and we've got the Tommy Town. And again, it's supposed to say amusements underneath that. It's just hard to do it in block letters like this. Um, but yeah, no, but this is our little observation deck. So you can go up here. We can come up to this first level. Nice little... It's a desert right now, but I do kind of want to wrap the park around there a little bit. It's going to be like a weird setup, but hopefully it'll look cool. And so, come up the stairs again. And they're underneath the sign. And just another higher up observation deck, so you can see what's going on. <laughs> again, it's nothing at the moment, just kind of desert, but it will have stuff eventually. We're going to be able to do like, the park up this way, and then back that way I can do another build. Hmm, what kind of build in the desert? Hmm, <laughs> not sure yet, but for now, this is the little walkway from down there you can see. It's all going to type over here and go over that way. Uh, but so yeah, just a little observation deck underneath the sign, take use of the space. And as we walk down this way more. This is just kind of like a nice little pretty picturesque area. Nothing too much to it, just kind of made it look pretty so it's not just grass or something else. And stairs are here. Just another little spot over here. Fill it up with some greenery, some flowers. And then before we go over there, I'm going to fly up to the castle. And this was my castle, kind of like how the Disney parks have their own castles. I have a castle too. And I've got a resident who is living here permanently. Let's see if we can find him. Well, actually, while we're looking for him, here's our little drawing room. Some nice paintings, some seating, a little statue of sorts or an easel. Across the hall is our dining area. Nice little artwork, nice long table. Uh, we'll go through those stairs soon. Back is the kitchen. Not a ha not a whole lot going on. And here's a little armory hall. A couple pieces of armor. And here's our resident. I found out how to name the animals. And so I have now I have I now have named my duck McClucky Billionaire Chicken. I Figured out how to put name tags on animals, and I did it, and I love it. McClucky, our billionaire chicken, he owns this castle. Um, but he's yeah here he is in our ballroom, so he is dancing away in the ballroom. Ah, I love that, McClucky. <laughs> okay, so then this is the first floor of the castle, and I usually use this staircase. The other corner is another staircase. Um, but this one has the one that takes you to the middle. I haven't added anything to these extra rooms yet, but it's like bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, and then this is where I go to sleep. And now down there you can see Main Street. Uh, but just the wherever I need to sleep at night, that's where I go. <laughs> and if we go back up these stairs again, it will take us to our rooftop. 
Oh, we've got a, oh, hello up there. Um, that's a bit precarious of where we're standing. Um, you know, they spawn in the weirdest places. Sometimes they spawn into walls and it's, I don't know, you'd think the AI would be a little bit better to not do that, but I mean, just, just don't fall, sir. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here's our front. And I, I like this castle a lot. It's not too big. It's just right. I think I've decorated the bottom rather nicely. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to take a little detour into the castle. And now back on our path to enter the park. So we're going to go up these stairs. And I have this neat little... When I was making it, I referred to it as kind of like a... Almost look like a film strip. How you have the old film with the registration holes on the top and bottom. But it also acts as a way to like kind of funnel you to the park. So it all kind of lines up just right. So you go through the entrance here. And I changed this way a little bit. It was a diagonal path, but I didn't quite like that. So I made a little observation deck. Another one for the back. <laughs> and then you're going to cross over this, which is actually a bridge because there's water underneath. And now we're going to enter Main Street. So again, Main Street was done mostly on camera. A few things haven't been, and I'll get to the newest things, but again, here's a little info booth. Once I have the maps, I'm going to put the maps up here so we can have a map of the park. Just nice little log cabin kind of feel. And the sign up top, I for info. And then across the street is our bakery. So we've got, trying to cross up, there we go. We've got bake. I, I am a pastry chef, I love desserts, so I needed a bakery of some sort here. So I have made a little bakery, nice and clean inside. It changed the, uh, I used to have some big pictures here, but it didn't quite look right, so I kind of made some art. To me it looks like chocolate, and it fits for a bakery, so I kind of kept those guys for my new decor. This wall's kind of blank, I almost want to put a door there, kind of take you to the back. Not necessary, but uh, just too blank right there. Uh, but you come up here, order what you want. We got pumpkin pie, we got some cake, some cookies, some bread. You know, the usual. Have a slice of cake right now. Excuse me. A little bit of standing area. Have a little seat. Eat your desserts. Look at the outside, it's pretty out there. And so we got our bakery. And then across the street from the bakery, next to our info, we have our escape rooms. I did my my first episode, which was kind of out of order, but I wanted to show off the escape room idea. And it is an escape room. I still haven't done a, the middle one yet, trying to figure out what to do for there. Can't get in the door. There we go. Um, but we do have our first one, which I showcased, showcased these in that one episode, which was my first episode. But this one's pretty neat. You got to... Do the order of operations to get the pressure plate and open the door to get back out. This is my one that needs to be done. And then this one is the redstone room. Where you got to figure out the pattern to make the redstone work to get the pressure plate to come out. Fun little ideas. I love. I want to do more escape rooms in Minecraft because it's a really cool concept. Um, but yeah, so here's our escape room on our main street. That's what it's called. Main street tour. And then across the street is my restaurant. Years ago, I, I made cartoons and submitted them to like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Disney kind of stuff. And the first one I ever made and submitted was, uh, it took place in a town. And I had a restaurant called Food. And you put the U with the two dots over it to give it the oo sound. So it's food. And I, I don't, it looks like a smiley face too. So I, food makes me happy. So that's why I wanted to kind of incorporate that here. So it is pronounced food, but it's spelled FUD. But those two dots make it the ooh sound, so we've got food as our little restaurant. Here's a little dining area outside. I think we have four tables. And we also have a customer here, Mr. Llama. <laughs> and then we go inside. Maybe. And here's a little register to pay. And they'll also get seated. The host will be like, oh, how many? And you tell them, then you go, okay. Then we've got some seats around. Long tables for like families, some de decor uh, using the uh, trapdoors. So here's a little restaurant eating area. I like how it turned out, it looks really cool. 
And I even have a kitchen. With a for working fires. And whenever you're in a kitchen, you always have to have the hoods on. So we've got hoods to bring the smoke outside. If you can see out there, we can actually see that's the iron fencing. And then also we also have, we have a refrigerator. It's empty at the moment <laughs> because it's just blocks, but our refrigerator, walk-in refrigerator. In restaurants, you need to have three separate sinks. One is washing, one is rinsing, one is sterilizing. And so we have our three sink basins here. And then I also have a door out here, which if you exit here, this is the trash. I love how I did this. I mean, it's, it's, it's all for show, of course, but you have big dumpsters outside of restaurants. And so you come outside, you dump your trash. And this is where I almost wanted to put the door because when you go into the bakery, oh, I guess I can't do it right here because this big trash can's in the way. But it'd be a way you could like share a dumpster. So I might put the door here to kind of continue this theme with the dumpsters for the trap or for the food areas. But just little details like that. Oh, it's hard to get in the store. It's so quick. <laughs> go. Oh, come on. I almost had it. Third time's charm. There we go. Um, just some windows in the back here. There's not usually many kitchens. Windows in a kitchen, in like a restaurant. So just kind of put some up there with some. Those are the bars, but they're supposed to be like a screen kind of thing. Looks more like a prison, but whatever. <laughs> a couple of islands to cook the food on. Prep areas, take it out. I love how this restaurant turned out. Food. Oops. Okay. All right, so, and it's getting nighttime and you can kind of see how it lights up. And we got a skeleton customer. Oh, he is a customer. He's trying to get to the table. Uh, I did move the post. They were in the middle of the street just as temporary light holders. I moved them onto the sidewalk and it looks good there now. Uh, but so we have our info booth, we have our bakery, we have our restaurant, we have an escape room, and we, uh, we blah, and now we have an arcade. So I like how it's the glowstone, just kind of A-R-C-A-D-E, arcade. And this was really fun to do. I had fun making this one. Um, here's our change machine if you want to make some change to play some games. These are our pinball tables. Use your imagination. <laughs> Back here we have our pool table. Got some pool sticks and the little triangle thing. If the ball is too far in the middle of the table, you get that stick and you use that to help push or help without leaning over the table kind of thing. And then back here is our ski ball, complete with snowball ski balls. More change machines. And then we have a lot of arcade cabinets. They're all showing the same game right now, but the cabinet art is different. <laughs> so it's a fun little arcade kind of thing. And actually, yeah, okay. Last episode, I was making a movie theater. And I, I finished it. I, I really love how this turned out. There's our sign. I believe it's Lapis Lazuli Block. Um, but it says movies. And so on the side, I've got like three giant posters kind of saying what movies are going to be out. One about a little person or a person who shrinks down or something. Maybe this is Ghost Rider with the flaming skull. Beauty and the Beast, except it's a pig. I don't know. Just kind of movie posters. And a little one on this side because there's only three big artworks. Uh, I like horror movies, so I guess kind of like a horror theme. Uh, but now going inside. You guys saw me make most of this last episode. But this episode, here it is finished. More posters on the inside, kind of telling what movies there are. I finished the salt and pepper floor. I love how it turned out. It like, I know it just, I love this like grayscale kind of feel. Um, but first we got to go get our ticket. So you come to the windows, there's three windows. These are little registers. One ticket, please. Some extra artwork posters. If you want to get some food, we got a concession stand. And so we're going to go over to the concession stand. They've got popcorn machines. They've got cake. They've got chicken. They've got cookies. They've got potatoes. A couple of registers. More artwork. And I just, I love how the glowstone looks like popcorn. To me, it looks like a popcorn kind of thing. So I kind of put it with a popcorn machine. Um, so yeah, this is the lobby. Get your tickets, get your snacks, some artwork, salt and pepper carpeting. And now this is so cool. There is 
a zombie who kind of wandered into the space as I was making it. And I have turned him into my usher. So he's going to take your ticket and help you find your seat. And he's going to be here forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so if you come in, there's our usher. You hand him your ticket and you go find your seat. And look, hidden Mickey. I mentioned this last time. I did have the white, I think it was concrete last time. But it, the room was so dark without any lights. So I had to kind of change it. And so I put a bunch of the uh, sea lanterns there. And it, it looks really cool. I wish I didn't have the grid, but the grid kind of works. And I want to do a hidden Mickey because Disney World and all the Disney parks have hidden Mickeys, Mickeys all around. And the whole concept is kind of like inspired by these theme parks. So I wanted to do a hidden Mickey in mine. So here is our hidden Mickey in our movie theater with our nice rows of seats. We've got the lighting on the floor so we can see where we're walking. The seats kind of aren't that special. I tried to make it so it would sit up a little higher, but you, um, because this is a half a block, it didn't look right. Uh, so we just have these kind of steps essentially, but they're the seats. So you can have a seat, watch a little Disney movie with your hidden Mickey in the nice lit screen, which looks so cool. I don't have a projection room, but that's okay. So after the movie's done, we can exit the theater. And I love, 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 love how this turned out. This was a really fun build. And again, this is going down into the ground. So right in this corner, last episode, there was a little natural water spot right here that I had to fill in. And it is huge in here because I had to dig down so far to keep it level with the back. And I love how it turned out. So we've got our one screen movie theater. Watch some movies. Thank you, Usher. Movie was great. <laughs> Make sure he stays in there. Good. Usher is right there. And so here is the finished movie theater. I, I really love how, this, love how this turned out. So now if we head on out. So it's actually the restaurant I didn't do on camera. And so you saw that. And then I did this one off camera. This is my gift shop. This is where you can buy little things for Tommy Town. And I think it turned out really cool. So let's go take a look on the inside. I love the outside too. This is... I forget what the actual style is called. Oh, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna drive me crazy now. It's, it's like the nice light colored walls with the dark trim wood. English Tudor? I, I don't think that's it. I don't know, but, but it's based off of that. So anyway, you go inside the gift shop, and we've got a uh, picture of these glass things as snow globes. So we've got some snow globes. We've got some books to get. Here's a little checkout, nice little flower, pretty flower. And there's a checkout over on this side as well. Another pretty flower. So as you walk in, some more uh, snow globes. These are just wool blocks, but they're kind of like my hat. If you recall that, actually you can see it, you're watching a YouTube video, so if you look at my little icon, I have this signature black hat, which is actually double D's from Ed and Eddie, but I made it real and I've worn it for over a decade now. Kind of adopted it as my own. And so these are supposed to be those black hats. <laughs> Imagination on that one. You can buy some posters. Why not get some posters? Uh, you've got some books. I like to read books. I love behind the scene books kind of thing. So we've got our bookshelves, snow globes, hats, more snow globes. I love costumes and I love masks, so I love how you can do masks in my Minecraft. So we've got some of those guys. I uh, got some clothing stuff. This is all leather. I didn't dye it yet because I have trouble with. Um, for some reason, I can make a cauldron and I can have a bucket of water. But when I try to fill the cauldron with a bucket of water, it just throws the bucket at it. It doesn't actually fill it with water. So I'm not sure how to fix that yet. Once I fix that, then we're going to have a full outfit. <laughs> but for now, just kind of put a mask on the mannequin. Have some masks around this side. Some more clothing stands. A neat little corner mask. And then last thing to show is a giant carpet. It's my face. <laughs> it's a smaller space than what the actual like grid is. So it looks a little off in places. But I think it's really cool looking. So this is my little gimmicky face that I use for many of my um, video media accounts. I've got a Twitch, I've got this 
YouTube. I've got my food YouTube. I've got uh, my Twitch Twitter. They all kind of have this icon. So it's, I love it. It's a cool thing. I love having that like big open smile. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a nice carpet over the whole floor. And this is our gift shop. I really like how that turned out. And we've got doors on this side too. Now it's daytime. And that is the build so far. Ooh, oh, it's just chainmail. Okay. Is it enchanted chainmail? Skeletons and chainmail look pretty cool. And I'm beating up with a piece of glass. <laughs> He's resilient. But he looks like a rainbow. Whenever you hit him, he like. Cool. Okay, thank you for all that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so here is our build so far. We have the entrance, we have our little castle, we have Main Street, and now it's time. Next episode, we're gonna work on the central hub. So I'm gonna fly up pretty high so we can kind of get a good bird's eye view of everything. There's gonna be a lot of filling in off camera and stuff, but right around here is our central hub. And I'm going to have it separated by different kind of parks, or not parks, but like um, themes. So kind of like how Disney has like Toontown, Fantasy, I, Fantasy Adventure, Tomorrowland. They have just different categories and things to have specific rides to those areas. I want to do the same thing like that. And so the central hub will be right here. And it's going to branch off. Over here is going to be my water park because I believe that's all ocean out there. <laughs> but it's also got some cool, cool stuff to work with over there. Oh, I didn't realize there's a giant hole right there. Okay, I'll check that out. Um, but then over here, I love snow. I love the winter time. I love cold. So I'm probably going to have a snow-themed area, frozen something or another. I know it would be nicer if there's a frozen frozen tundra, but don't think there's any around here. Uh, but so central hub, water, frozen. Again, I love desserts, so I want to do like a, a fun little food, dessert kind of area land. Um... I kind of want to do five, I think. <clears throat> so we've got one here. To, I, I'm still playing this out more so in my head. I've got I've got the graph paper that I'm using to kind of get my ideas down. Um, but I want to do like five themed areas, I think. And they're gonna have like roller coaster rides, water rides, pools in the water area at least. And that's very round. I love how like naturally round that is. <laughs> Um, um, so yeah, but yeah, just, we've got Main Street done. It was fun to build that and kind of do that stuff. And you can see back here, actually, the theater. It goes down underground quite a bit because you can see it's only as high as the other buildings, but it's very big on the inside. And I love that illusion. Um, and for some reason, the gift shop here reminds me of Moe's Tavern from The Simpsons, but it's not. It's my gift shop. Um, but yeah, so a backwards view. I love those mountains. We want to do something with those too. Just a really neat place to work with. And I'm going to put stuff over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. And so that is what the future looks like. We're going to start building the actual park now with amusements and rides and all that fun stuff. So yeah, it's a quick episode this time. I know the last one was kind of long building in the movie theater and I didn't show all of it, but this one's a nice quick one, just kind of take a tour of what I have so far and give a little insight as to what my plans are for the future with up here. Oh, so cool. So exciting. Can't wait to see it like finally come together. In my head looks really cool. Just got to actually put it out into the game now. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it for this episode. Just another short one. Uh, and so it's going to be... It's going to be... Fun, hopefully, but... Sorry, I lost track of my thought. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a lot more filling in here, kind of figure out what I want the central hub to look like, and then we'll start building out. So thank you guys for watching this episode of a Minecraft playthrough. We are building Tommy Town Amusement Park. We finished our little tour. We've got Main Street finished. We've got the castle. We've got our sign. We've got our entrance. And now it's time to work on the park itself. So stay tuned for all those episodes coming up soon throughout the weeks still going to try to do monday through friday as long as i can get 
timing and everything. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I want to see this come together. It's a really cool idea. It's not anything new. I've seen other people do theme park kind of things too, but uh, just making it personal, kind of making my own little touches with it. I think it's going to be neat to see come to life. So thank you, thank you everybody. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye everybody. Bye.